Uh, so it's going to be. What do we use the binomial distribution for? I have over there a two-point experiment. Yeah. And I could map from the sample space that I have there to the real line. Okay. Now the possible outcomes of my two-point experiment are either <coughs> no tail, one tail, or two tails. And if I asked you what's the probability of getting two tails and you know, two clusters, what probability distribution would you use? So the binomial is a discrete probability distribution for random variables that are counts. That said, what do you know about the Poisson probability? another discrete random variable? <laughs> you know, because we've already decided that the binomial is a discrete random variable, counting the number of heads in some number of classes. Is the Poisson a discrete random variable? Yeah. yeah. And it's a random variable that's the, or it's the density, Poisson is the density for a random variable that's counting up the number of events, the number of things, the kind of counting model, right? So how do we decide which one we're going to use? Binomial or Poisson? <coughs> well, you've done good so far. So we'll ask Mike, uh, Jose. Jose, where are you? We'll ask Jose that question. How do we decide which one to use? Uh, if they're both models and counts. Is it what? Is it
binomial n plus one are negative one. You can derive one from the other. Yeah. Why is the rate particular in the Why is the what? Ah. So that's the binomial, right? And the plus one is that. And lambda is known as the rate parameter. Because the plus one is often used to model failures in the production process. So suppose they were rolling out railroad rails. We have a, a very modern steel mill rolling out these railroad rails. We roll them out thousands of yards at a time, thousands of meters at a time. So we need the rate parameter in that case would be the number of flaws per meter. That's the rate. Yeah. Would it be the plus one model? All right. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you brought it up, and I gave you the answer that I did. I pointed out to you, on my website, there is a, you can get my resume. And my resume has on it all the research publications. So one of the papers on that list is uh, airport choice in the multi-area, in the multi-airport region. So I used the most recent version of the paper. I used multivariate Poisson to model the frequencies with which people choose to model Philadelphia, WI, Newark, and JFK. Okay, so those are counts. Count and so the frequency of which you choose Philadelphia is the Poisson, the same with Newark, the same with Baltimore. Uh, but they're not independent of one another. So there's this problem of modeling multivariate counting. It's quite common. And so I use the multivariate plus all to do it. The interesting part is how do you model the rate parameters with those choices? So the frequency with which you choose to fly out to Philadelphia will depend on how far you are from each of the different airports and your income and the average price of the ticket and so on and so forth. So that one of the things that we do as economists is we then say, oh, lambda is a function of a collection of variables that we'll call z. And so we try to figure out how to model lambda conditional on the different values taken by z. And I think that's the rate of the default rates in the portfolio or model. They just didn't do a great job. Because it turns out that, what do we know? Abby, what do we know about the mean and the variance of a possible random variable? Lambda. And they are the same. Right? So that's a pretty stringent requirement that the mean equal the variance. And oftentimes, like in airport choice, the empirical density characterized by the mean and variance, not the mean. The variance is the part of the bigger the distribution is said to be over dispersed. So the Poisson is a bad choice to model the frequency of default and the of mortgage. The negative binomial would be a somewhat better choice. And then, um, if you have, if you can lump your mortgage together in pools within the portfolio, uh, you probably have a multivariate than the variant. And then it's a very difficult problem to model because uh, the default rate in, in uh, Upper Dublin is not independent of the default rate in the city of Philadelphia. It's in the same overall time. So you can do a lot of really 